Number two, I'll take programs that are currently good programs, but I think it'd be run more efficiently at the state level and send them to the state. Number three, I'll make government more efficient and cut back the number of employees, combine some agencies and departments. My cutbacks will be done through attrition, by the way. This is the approach we have to take to get America to a balanced budget. The president said he'd cut the deficit in half. Unfortunately, he doubled it. Trillion dollar deficits for the last four years. The president's put it in place as much public debt, almost as much debt held by the public as all prior presidents combined. Mr. President, two minutes. When I walked into the Oval Office, I had uh, more than a trillion dollar deficit greeting me. Uh, and we know where it came from. Two wars that were paid for on a credit card, two tax cuts that were not paid for, and a whole bunch of programs that were not paid for, and then uh, a massive economic crisis. Uh, and despite that, uh, what we've said is, yes, we had to take some initial emergency measures to make sure we didn't slip into a Great Depression. But what we've also said is, let's make sure that we are cutting out those things that are not helping us grow. So, 77 government programs, everything from aircrafts that uh, the Air Force uh, had ordered but weren't working very well, 18 government, uh, 18 government programs for education that were well-intentioned but weren't helping kids learn. We went after uh, medical fraud in Medicare and Medicaid uh, very aggressively, more aggressively than ever before, and have saved tens of billions of dollars, $50 billion of waste taken out of the system. And I worked with Democrats and Republicans to cut a trillion dollars out of our uh, discretionary domestic budget. That's the largest cut in the discretionary domestic budget since Dwight Eisenhower. Now, we all know that we've got to do more. And so I put forward a specific $4 trillion deficit reduction plan. It's on a website. You can look at all the numbers, what cuts we make, and what revenue we, we raise. And the way we do it is $2.50 for every cut. We ask for a dollar of additional revenue, paid for, as I indicated earlier, by asking those of us who have done very well in this country to contribute a little bit more to reduce the deficit. Governor Romney earlier mentioned uh, the Bull Simpson Commission. Well, that's how uh, the commission, the bipartisan commission that talked about how we should move forward suggested we have to do it in a balanced way with some revenue and some spending cuts. And this is a major difference that Governor Romney and I had. Let, let, let me just finish this point because you're, you're looking for contrast. Uh, you know, when Governor Romney stood on a stage with uh, other uh, Republican candidates uh, for the nomination, and he was asked, would you take $10 of spending cuts for just $1 of revenue? And he said no. Now, if you take such an unbalanced approach, then that means you are going to be gutting our investments in schools and education. It means that Governor Romney yeah. talked about Medicaid and how we could send it back to the states, but effectively this means a 30% cut in the primary program we help for seniors who are in nursing homes, for kids who are with disabilities, and, and that is not a right strategy for us to move forward. Well, the two minutes. Sorry. Uh, Governor, what about Simpson Bowles? Do you support Simpson Bowles? Simpson Bowles, the president should have grabbed that. I mean, he supports Simpson Bowles. I have my own plan. It's not the same as Simpson Bowles. But in my view, the president should have grabbed it. Oh, okay, that's enough of that. Nerds, what I've said, well, Obama's making such a big deal about Romney's $5 trillion thing. But he has a $4 trillion thing. It's only $1 trillion difference. But So it's like he can do it, but Romney can't. And uh, Simpson's... But the thing is, he was saying, like, people who who, are off, who do better off well have to, like, pay a dollar. So anyone here that that's straight up saying taxes for, like, people who are better off, which is usually meant the middle class and not the rich class. I'm sorry, but that's how it always goes. I don't know. I mean, Obama said he wants to tax the, the rich class, but he said, like, no taxes. When, like, it's, it's so confusing. So confusing. Because during the debate, he says for middle class, but then he's saying... People who are well off should be should pay like one dollars out of this tax. So they're lowering the taxes, but taking one dollar out of that to tax us. So it's, I am not like a political expert, but it's 
brave new future ahead of us. This has been the Irish Wolfhound of America, live from the room across the Maryville room. The Maryville room, where the radio station is. I have like one more clip to play, and then that would be like it, because I have so much more.